Hello there and welcome to my chaos. So tomorrow, November 20th, the newest Disney Dream My Valley DLC storybook veil will be dropping and I am super excited. Today, Disney Dream at Valley released the patch notes. So let's go ahead and take a look as to what's to come tomorrow during the update. Okay, so I haven't seen these yet, so it'll be new to me. So let's go ahead and read through. Hey, Valley Villagers, this week we turn the page of a new chapter for Disney Dreamlight Valley as we celebrate the release of a paid expansion pass. Disney Dreamlight Valley, the storybook veil part one <laughs> travel to a new world and capture treasure tales to unveil beloved disney and pixar stories meet heroes and villains who have epic trials to undertake stories to reassemble and friendships to recover i'm so excited master a new royal tool and collect all manner of new rewards to further express your creativity and style all this and more awaits you in the veil it looks so beautiful dude. oh my god tomorrow literally tomorrow this time tomorrow me playing the dlc actually probably not i'm gonna try to stream tomorrow at like 7 15 p.m eastern standard time so my usual time not only that but this update also includes a range of bug fixes that impact all owners of disney dream my valley these fixes pave the way for our next free update so delightful which will release on december 4th 2024 stay tuned for more details about this update in the coming week but returning our focus to this week, Disney Dream of Valley The Storybook Veil Part 1 arrives November 20th, 2024. Check out all the details of this update below. Okay, okay, you ready? Are you ready to dive in? A new land to explore. Step into Storybook Vale and discover a land made up of myths and fairy tales come to life. Comprised of three stunning and expansive new biomes, The Bind, Ever After, and Mythopia. Oh, The Bind, like, the, like a book bind. Oh, and then Ever After. Okay, so that'll be like the little fairy tale forest and then Mythopia will be like the... um. Yeah, the, the Greek mythology section. <laughs> a new quest line, meet the lore keeper, and puzzle through the motivations of two competing rulers in this epic new tale, filled with new friends and new quests. I am so excited to meet Maleficent down the line. Obviously, we're not getting her now. We'll get her later, but... I think Hades will be fun. Two, new royal tool. Harness the power of the royal net to capture snippets. Living embodiments of the lore keeper's scattered pages and piece together the story of the veil. Show off this tool with a new photo mode pose as well. I wonder if we're gonna be able to like have skins for it. Um, like we do with the hourglass. Surely we will, hopefully. Um, new puzzle and quest types. Complete beautiful tapestries that tell the stories behind classic Disney and Pixar films and delve into trials. New quests inspired by fairy tales and myths, which are sure to put your adventuring skills to the test. Interesting. Trials. Huh. That sounds cool. New animal companions. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to see what they all look like. We haven't we haven't really gotten to see a lot of variation of the um the owl, the dragon, and the Pegasus. So I'm excited to see like the rest of them. Discover new critters to befriend as well as their many variations in each of the Vale's new biomes. New shipment alert. Browse a new batch of goods in Scrooge McDuck's store available for owners of the expansion pack. Also, I hope they improve it because like I swear, I swear the store got better. And then I feel like with the Timon and Pumbaa update, it's almost like it took a step backwards. Does anybody else feel that way? I just feel like good stuff isn't appearing anymore. Like, ever. <laughs> I know. Um, what is this? New Renos? Renos? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck's, like, renovations? I don't I don't get it. <laughs> oh, new Renos. Oh, it is, like, renovation. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Scrooge McDuck's store and Shay Remy each receive a visual refresh to match their surroundings in the bind. <laughs> Yay, new decorations, clothing. Wait, 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 wait. Will we be able to use these skins in our valleys? Like, could we pick which ones? Although, granted, they, they're like autumn themed. That probably wouldn't fit in our valley, but I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, new decorations, clothing, and collectibles. Collect all manner of new items to express your creativity in these new surroundings and unlock a wide range of new crafting and cooking recipes. Okay, and then we have new content for everybody, not just for the DLC. Each instance of Scrooge McDuck's store, the Valley Eternity Isle Storybook Vale, will now offer a separate rotation of goods. <gasps> Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we're going to have triple the merchandise. We're going to have triple the merchandise. Am I reading that correctly? We'll now offer a separate rotation of goods to check in on. Yeah. Oh my God. Perfect. Amazing. Please note the uh, please note the item rotations offered in the Valley and Eternity Isle draw from the same base game item pool you know and love. New photo mode. Ooh, we got a new pose. Show off your glider of choice with a new photo mode pose. Nice. I love that. I was just thinking, like next year, could we get a broomstick? <laughs> Can we have a Halloween Hocus Pocus star path and have a broomstick glider and a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, we're, we're like moving on to Christmas. Like, <laughs> top changes and bug fixes available to all players. Um, okay, let's see if there's anything like significant here. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything like too super crazy here, but I am so excited about tomorrow. I will try to stream at about 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are getting the DLC and what you guys are most excited for, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!